Hi all, um, in this beginner tutorial I'll be making a, um, a highball cocktail glass. Um, that's my actual real life glass and this is the uh, a model that I've made um, in uh, Blender and rendered in cycles. Uh, we will be setting up a scene and rendering it in cycles as well. If you just downloaded Blender it should have cycles, um, the cycles renderer in it and I'll show you how to how to uh, switch it on and, and use it um, later in the tutorial. I'm actually uh, new to Blender, I've only been using it for about a week now so I'll try and get through this without too many stumbles. First thing you need to do obviously is open Blender. You won't be needing the default cube so um, to select the cube uh, you won't be needing the, def uh, the light as well, uh, the lamp. So um, to select the lamp or the cube just right click like that and then hit delete and enter for both of them, delete and enter. And then you want to add a cir uh, mesh circle, so hit Shift A to bring up the add menu, and under mesh, you want circle. And if you hit um, if you hit one, three, and seven on the number pad, you can switch views to um, that side view, top view, and uh, front view. So you can make sure that you've actually placed it in the right spot there, like that. Uh, and um, on the left hand side in the tool panel you can actually lower this vertices to 12 just um, single click on it to change the um, number and type in 12 and you also want to make sure it's filled so check filled if you hold down the right mouse button you can um, change the view um, to a different perspective like that and um, also if, you're, um, if your view looks a bit different to mine you might be in, um, in perspective mode up the top here you can see it says mine says ortho orthoscopic so if you change like that see it'll go perspective and back to ortho um, so you want, I usually model in ortho most of the time so yeah maybe for this tutorial leave it in ortho so you want to go into um, with the um, circle selected you want to go into edit mode so um, just make sure you got it selected just right click on it and then um, it says down here object mode that's the current mode that I'm in so if I hit tab it'll change to edit mode so you want to select, make sure you're in um, vertex select mode down here, the little, the square with a little dot on it, and right click on the um, vertex in the center of the circle. If I press seven from top view, you can see it. That's the vertex in the middle. And then go into side view, press G for grab. And as I haven't pressed, um, as, I haven't, as I haven't constrained it to any axes at the moment it'll just go off on all tangents but we want it to just go straight up so press Z to lock it to Z to the Z axis and just um, bring it up a little bit like that and now we want to go into I uh, just want to get a different perspective on so just hold your right mouse button so you can move it around like that and change the um, select mode to edge mode and then hold down alt and right click on any of the outside edges of the of the um, of the circle to to select the loop like that and then press 3 to go back into um, edge mode and i've measured that the um, approximate size of the of the base of the glass is about um, one part to four so if you just zoom out so you can see the grid here just go up, press E to extrude, and Z to lock it to Z axis, and just go up one part like that. And it also it also tapers in a bit too. So, um, uh, so you left click to um, confirm. So um, I'll just show you that again. If you press E to extrude, Z to keep it on the um, uh, Z axis, and then just bring it up um, a quarter, and then just left click. That will that will confirm the um, the extrude and yeah so we have to taper that in a bit so um, you'll see if I, if I change the view it's still the edge is still selected so um, inside view just hold down uh, actually you can do it pretty much in any view um, hold down uh, press S just um, yeah press it don't hold it down sorry and um, and you just want to you just want that to taper in a little bit like that so if we look at side view again, you can see it just sort of tapers in a little bit, and that's um, the base of the glass. So with the edges still selected, um, 
Uh, sorry, to zoom in and out, you use the um, the, uh, the the scrolly wheel on your on your mouse, um, and also to to pan um, the screen, you just hold um, shift and hold down the middle mouse button, and you can move around like that. So we want to extrude upwards to get the top part of the glass. So press E again, and again you want to keep it on the Z axis. And as I said before, it's about one and four. So just go up four squares like that and it trumpets out so again you press S um, to change the size um, and you can see sort of roughly make it like the um, original picture I'm, I'm, I'm just going by memory here you can I'm not going to put uh, you can put a picture in the background to um, model off but this is just a simple a simple model so I'm not going to bother doing that uh, from the top um, go into top view now and um, you need to press E to extrude and escape um, and then press S to size and go in like that I'll show you what happens if you don't press if you don't extrude and escape first it kind of creates a duplicate of what's selected so if I didn't extrude um, first and I just went S you'll see that it's actually now let me get a different perspective on that it's just changing the whole thing because it, it's it hasn't created a duplicate of those edges yet so you press e to extrude and, e to extrude and escape and then size it inwards like that so you'll see that there's now a lip on the um, on the edge uh, you have the edge of the glass so the glass has a bit of thickness and then we want to um, extrude downwards to the inside of the glass to fill the inside of the glass. So press 3 to go into side view. Let's line this up a bit better. And press Z actually to um, change it from um, shaded to wireframe. And press uh, E and lock it to the Z again and go down and then just stop before you get to the, the, to the line there. Don't worry that it looks like it's coming out the side of the glass. We'll fix that next. And then left click to select. Press S again to change size and go inwards like that so that it's just like as you as you're going in just check the side of um, the glass so it's approximately the same width on both sides. Uh, now we want to actually make a um, fill this bottom part in with a face because at the moment um, there there's no face in it so if you imagine it was a real life glass you pour water in it it actually the water would actually go down and uh, fill up the bottom of, uh, of the base here which is obviously not what we want so to do that um, you have to create um, uh, a duplicate edge again um, because if I if I merge these edges together at the moment if I hit W and then hit merge and then at center it actually merges all the edges into one spot at the middle and obviously that's not what we want so I'll just control Z out just want to just want to show you what happens when you the purpose of hitting E to extrude and then escape straight away it's to it's to make um, make a double of the edges that you actually have selected at the time so now that we have those edges selected press W and merge and because we did that E and escape you'll see now that it's actually it's um, filled in the face properly so go into vertex mode and select the middle one, the middle vertex there, if it's not already selected, it is for me. Press 3 to go into side view, and we want to just lower that down a bit. So press uh, G to grab and Z on the Z axis and just go down a little bit like that. So now we have the pit at the bottom of the, um, of the, bottom of the glass. Um, and uh, as you can see, it's kind of well it's very square it's it's all faceted and that's obviously not what a glass looks like so we want to actually smooth that out so to do that go over to the right hand side here where the spanner is and, and click it and this is where all the modifiers um, are kept and then on the generate column go down to subdivision surface and increase the view and the render to 3 